Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Grimwit. This is Bloodlust Shadowhunters. It's time to turn your volume up to spooky. And let's do some Halloweening. Hmm. I'm going to do something. Since I haven't recorded anything in two months because of personal problems. But I'm going to do something I haven't done in a long time. I'm going to do a blind let's play of a one-man project. I've never played this game. Um, I am told that it's extreme 90s. Uh, I remember playing an awful lot of... Uh, well, I played one or two campaigns of Vampire the Masquerade in high school. But I'm told that this isn't Vampire the Masquerade. And I've played my share of procedurally generated dungeons. But this isn't just a procedurally generated dungeon game. This is Bloodlust, and uh, yeah, let's do this. Let's let's play it. I'm going to play this until I'm sick of it, or I win, one or the other. Oh my god, so much blood. Let's take a look at the options real quick. Hmm, tutorial mode. Nope, I prefer to... I prefer to make mistakes. Inverted mice. Let's see, normal hard insane. Why is it giving me extra experience points for being insane? Resolution is the best for YouTube's item glow. I'm showing you the I'm showing you the options because when I went to advanced, it started giving me things like this. If you're experiencing crashing during combat, turn off sword trails. Thank you. Also, poor performance in random dungeon areas. Must reload after checking box. There's an awful lot of caveats that come with my my computer. Let's turn details up to high. Let's max out textures. Let's crash it. Let's fucking crash this damn thing. Sword trails on. Allow DirectX rendering. I actually don't know enough about this, but I know I have DirectX 11, so let's do that. Do I have to restart? Um, I'll have to restart. Okay, that's okay. I'll restart the system. And... Uh, yeah, let's, let's restart the game and see how badly it crashes. Well, game hasn't crashed yet, so I'm going to take that as a good sign. Let's try a new game. Alright, let's see here. I only took a look at this. Oh god, this bleeds neon. It's so 90s. Black trench coat. When was the last time you've seen somebody in a black trench coat? Especially one that clipped through their leg. I remember that being all the rage when I was in high school. Okay, breed. Vampire. Strong but requires blood. Well, we're going to be doing vampire, of course. Dampier. I never understood this word. The first time I heard the word dampier was when I saw D. Vampire Hunter D. But, oh well. And question mark. What is he? Who knows? We may never find out. We're going to go with Vampire. Um, nothing is hotter than a female vampire. I don't know why. Maybe it's just because I believe that women make better hunters than men. Uh, warrior sounds boring. Witch. Oh, okay. I dig the, the coat, the red coat thing. And jeans. So nice. See what he looks like. Oh man, I, I could have a vest and a red shirt and a bandana. That is that is fashion right there. God, that that's so that's ah chic. All right, and criminal because criminal, not thief or rogue, just criminal. You know, whatever this person did, it's against the law. Hey, uh, Mike from the future here, and I just want you to notice that the flashlight that my character model is holding is actually illuminating the background. Now that's detail. What do the male f criminals look like? They, but they can't beat that bustier or whatever that is. Ah, he looks like the Fonz, only with better hair. Is that even possible? Yes, it is. Okay, we're going to go with Buffy the Vampire Vampire Slayer here. Okay, let's see. High dexterity. What do these do? 
Attack and melee. Lockpicks. Magical power. Endurance. Probably going to need some endurance. Intelligence for hacking. Oh my god, just put it all in hacking. Nope, don't care. Don't care about vitality. Hacking. Everything into hacking. I don't even know what the others do, but hacking. Okay, let's see. Oh, and I have been playing this game for one minute and ten seconds. Bravo for not putting a zero in front of the seconds when it's only a single digit. Let's see. Her name is going to be Bunny. Yeah. Let's, let's do this. <laughs> this is so absurd. Let's do this. Let me catch you up real quick. I'm going to be doing about three videos a week. After each week of video, I will start reading comments. And if you guys want me to do something, I will try and do whatever you demand. I'm here to dance for you. I am your monkey. Your vampire, vampire hunting monkey named Bunny. We can get minions? Fuck yeah. Oh, cutscene. I'll, I'll turn off. Brandon Lee as the crow. Wake up, fledgling. The early evening's dusk fades from view as a new moon rises. Your memory is probably very weak since it's been many years of deep slumber from the embrace. But with each new bloodline, you will grow stronger. Meet me at the tattoo shop back in town. I will explain everything there. I've asked Varric to watch over you through these long years. Seek him out, should you need any guidance from the ruins. Okay. Tutorial mode is strongly recommended for new players, otherwise you will most likely get killed from traps or frustrated from walking past hidden secrets. Screw your tutorial. I want to make mistakes. I would rather make mistakes than be told, say, how to move. WTF game. WTF. I know how to move. I know how to shoot. Ooh. I can shoot lightning. Let's see. I'm going to say that Bunny is from the 1920s, given her attire. And she does not actually know that you can just buy tattoos from a shop. Neat. However, having a lightning gun, yeah, that's normal. Tab key. I thought I turned off these friggin... Oh my god. What, what are you doing? I don't... Get, get out of here. <sighs> so, alright. Let's just play with the controls. Are you friend or foe? Talk. I can do that. Welcome, Fletchley. How was your sleep? Pretty good. Oh, okay. There's a nice face close-up you have there. 
Did you say something? No, you couldn't have. Your lips are sunshot. Oh, please. I think we've gone beyond what is and is not possible. I just walked out of a coffin. Who are you? My name is Badoff. I am the caretaker here in the ruins. These both are very good questions. How are you talking to me, and what? I can see you are a little confused, no? Quite normal in these circumstances. Side effects from the bite, perhaps? <laughs> Any chance you know what I need to do? Find the Statue of the Ancients. The spirit will guide your path to the exit of this dark place. Also see Sarah. She is the only traitor here. And I guess he is implying to look at my map for locations. Um, I don't even know what a clan is, so I'm not going to ask you. So, thanks. Actually, you know what? I, I really would rather make my own mistakes. That's one of the things that I kind of hate. I mean, I realize this is a new old game, or an old new game, but I really would rather make my own mistakes, thank you very much. See, I figured out how to jump, so let's jump. Oh, hell yeah. That was cool. That's one. Oh, God! Well, our first kill. Wolf killed. 100 and... Oh, crap! Okay, okay, we're, we're pretty good. Is this just make wolves to come out? Is that all this is? Hey, there's some guy there. Okay, if uh, we go by normal video game tropes, then we know that M is for map. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's see if I can figure it out. Bunny is right here. We have a monster right here and here. There are doors here and nowhere else. Doors are a rare commodity in this game. People go up to your house and they're like, holy crap, is this a door? I haven't seen one of these since 1921. Dude, can I score some coke from you? Hey, look. Sleeping Beauty is finally awake. That was your nap. It was alright. No, not really. But I did see you sleeping earlier when I took a peek inside your coffin. I'm sorry, but I was searching for blood fragments, and that's usually what you find inside dead vampire coffins. Didn't find any, but I did notice a few items next to your coffin. I didn't touch them, though, but I was curious who left that weapon and flashlight for you. Um, okay, why are you looking for blood fragments? Oh, man. You must have been asleep a long time. Blood fragments are very, very valuable. Just be glad you didn't have one for me to steal, huh? <laughs> Me and a few other guys have been uh, hired as excavators to find all the fragments in these ruins. Man, the acting in here is top notch. I haven't seen acting like this since Tommy was so. Oh, I'm just waiting for those wolves to go away. One of them tore my leg pretty bad. Man, once they lock on, they just don't let up. I even lost the full bag of blood jewels while trying to escape those creatures. Which reminds me, if you happen to find a bag of jewels, how about bringing it back here, huh? I couldn't help but smell the wine on your breath. A boost might get me votamated. Mo uh, sure. Take it. It's probably attracting those wolves closer to me anyway. Uh, also, if you need any lockpicks or keys, you might want to find Sarah. She set up a temporary trade shop to provide supplies for the excavators in the area. Man, Sarah gets around. Thanks, Machia. For lures, Machia for lures. Thanks. I guess we have to kill some wolves again. Shouldn't be too much harder than they already have been. Well, no more in here. When playing a vampire game, you can pretty much take any noun and add blood to it, and it makes it instantly cool. Like this blood trash can, that blood door, and these blood plants. Look at a blood barrel. Maybe we can find something in it. Hints and strategies. <laughs> cool. Awesome. I'll have to figure out how to do... Oh, well, I mean... Uh, inventory. I? 
Oh, there we go. We have many things that we can look for. Oh good, a wooden stake. Are these lightning stakes? I didn't realize that uh, ammunition was limited. We'll take this. How do I... Shift left click to separate. How do I just pick it up? Right click to use. I don't want to right click. There. Magical forces. This doesn't feel like Diablo at all. Blood wine. What I tell you. Blood everything. Let's go down this blood passage. Well, somebody wants my attention, but they're just going to have to... Oh, God! Headshot. I'm looking for wolves. Has anybody seen any wolves? Well, that's no fair. He fought back. Take that elixir. What? Is that a rat? It's an invincible rat. Teach me your ways. Nope, this is a blood dead end, so I can't do anything here. Sup? Hmm. Oh, I see. Very cool. Oh, I see. Let's try and jump our way there. Wee. Drop more baggage. Nothing. Oh, it's trapped. I guess we'll disarm it. Okay, good. Let's see, I got some... Statue of Knives. Right click to read. I refuse. And max stamina duration. This is loot all. And apparently we can put things back in here. That makes sense. Okay. Let's try and read this. Place a knife into the chest, and the statue will slide revealing the rest. A dagger won't do so, so don't even try. The statue can tell when people are sly. Character. K for skill points. I for inventory. M for map. J for journal. And misc. Alright. My bloodline has increased to level 2. That's good. Get more blood levels. What? I have left a note back at your tomb explaining a few things. You may want to read it before moving further in your journey. Alright, alright. I know when I'm beat. Let me head back. You clearly are someone of importance to be able to control my music. Uh... What, what's up, dude? Oh god, spider. Spider! Are you guys sufficiently creeped out yet? Um, where the hell did I come from? My tomb's right here. Or was I? Okay, that's where the bag is. That's the ancient statue. Where the hell did I come from? I think it was this way. Well, it's not my tomb, but oh god! Let me just take these leather gloves. Oh hell yeah. Oh I I need more blood levels. 
for these blood gloves. <laughs> 200 bonus attribute po points if all are found. Can you hear me? Don't be alone. is another of the skills. Brand and Lee just talked to us and told us many important things for our blood life. Now, where the hell did that come from? I bet it was from over here. This looks about right. How am I doing on... Ooh, I'm running low on uh, ammunition. I may have to try and find Syrah. Let's see, statue, statue of Knives to... New level. Let's distribute points. Five points, huh? We think I'm going to need some more strength. And then I guess I'll shove the rest into... The persuasion. My thirst is at 86%. Not sure why I'm not eating this rat, if that's the point. 'er map I can travel to a sewer map meat uh, I don't want to go to the dungeon what the oh hi bag of loot so um Ah, well, my sword trails aren't causing the game to crash. I didn't even realize I had a knife. We're going to have to switch to melee for a while. Okay, I see I'm going to have to do some, uh, some cuts for backtracking, so I will spare you guys. Unless there's combat, like this guy. <laughs> Um, sure. Use your gaze through the cracks and crevices to travel where your body cannot. Sure, why not? Hey, Lester, how you doing, pal? Whoa. You shouldn't sneak up on me like that. You want to get cut? You seem a little jumpy. Of course I'm a little jumpy. Have you seen what's going on around here? The gate's been opened. The dead have been summoned. i got to get out of here. I'm looking for a way out myself. Any suggestions? Uh, the trick is to find the secret walls in this place. There's one close. I can feel it. But my sight skill must be a little rusty. And without it, I won't get out of here. In fact, neither will you. Uh, I'm probably going to have to go find Machia. You might want to do the same. He's very good at secret sight. Did you just refer to your character sheet? He's an excavator, probably looking for blood fragments and whatever else he can scrape up. The last time I saw him, he was in the courtyard. I was just about to head over there to find some wolf fur for Sarah, but probably should spend a few more minutes looking for this wall if I ever want to get out of this place. Oh, okay. Where's Sarah? She set up a temporary excavated trade shop over there behind that door, near where you came in. But listen, she's probably a little upset I'm taking so long getting her fur. So if you talk with her, don't let her know you saw me. <laughs> sure, let's try persuading him. Can you give me a couple of coins to keep quiet? Sure, 
Here's a few coins. Fuck, that one's easy. But if you talk with Sarah, don't mention you saw me. Like I said, she's probably angry I haven't brought her wolf fur yet. Changed my mind on that one after seeing Makia getting attacked by that pack of wolves in the courtyard earlier. The opened gate has changed things around here. Everything is darker, stronger. Ooh, spooky. I... Uh, yeah, what's your story? Me? I'm just a pawn following orders. They tell me to look for fragments, so I look. Sarah tells me to find her fur, so I find. But that was before the creatures came. No, I didn't sign up for any of this. I'm out of here. I suggest you do the same. But if you're planning on staying here long, you'd probably be smart to talk with Head. He looks a bit scary, but he's probably the only one here I would trust. Sure, I'll keep an eye out for Head. Does... He have a giant alien coming out of his head? Ah, whatever. I'm going to assume this is... Ah, there's Sarah. But you know what? Let's leave that until next time. So far, the music's good. It's surprising to me that almost everybody has voices. This is a small studio, I think. Somebody told me it was one man and a whole bunch of collaborators. Oh well. Anyway, I'll see you next episode and uh, leave a comment or something. Tell me if you want more of this. Because I'm going to keep going until people tell me to shut up or I get sick of it. Stay spooky this Halloween.